In a massacre on the Long Island Railroad back in New York almost a year and a half ago, Carolyn McCarthy lost her husband to gunshot and her son was severely wounded. Today she filed suit against the manufacturers of the bullet, the gun, and the magazine that were used by the killer, Colin Ferguson, in that assault. She joins us tonight from the CBS studios in New York. Carolyn, thank you for coming on. I want you to know that uh, all of us here felt and feel your loss, and we hope that you are having some success at getting your life back together, and we'd like to know how your son Kevin is doing. Well, number one, yes, I am getting part of my life back together, and Kevin is doing absolutely fantastic. He I'm, really glad to, is. I'm glad to hear that. Let me ask you here about uh, filing a lawsuit against the manufacturer uh, of a product. How can a manufacturer control what the people who buy his or her product will do with it? Well, basically, um, the way I feel, is, especially with the lawsuit that uh, we've initiated today, the manufacturers actually have a wonderful opportunity to uh, control where their products are going. If you uh, went through some of the magazines, Gun and Ammo, the way they advertise and describe the bullets, especially the black talon bullet at that time that used, uh, Colin Ferguson used and actually um, was used on my son. And uh, that's why his head wound was so horrible. They advertise to the criminal and to people like Colin Ferguson. When they describe a bullet that will tear through flesh. And this is the description that the manufacturer uses in advertising this yes. particular instrument uh, yes, it of, is. of death. We, so, have a, we have a photograph I'd like to put up here so the audience will realize what a black talon bullet looks like. And I believe the photograph was, man, is that, is that it before it is fired? No, that's after it's fired. After it's fired, so that you, can, you get some idea here of the damage that this thing can do. Yes. And so that you feel then that the, that the manufacturer of this particular item uh, did not exercise any kind of caution in advertising his product and stressed rather the destructive nature of what its impact would do. Oh, definitely. And you have to understand, um, w these bullets, number one, if anyone's going to use them, they should be probably police officers, but even the police officers don't want to use them. And you have definitely a hunter or a sportsman is not going to use this type of bullet. If they used a bullet like that to kill a deer, you wouldn't have too much of a deer left, and no true sportsman would use that kind of a bullet. You know, when, uh, when Jim Brady uh, was getting better and his wife began the, the campaign to introduce the Brady Bill and make it part of the law in this country, it was the beginning, really, of some kind of meaningful control over handguns and weapons. And I'm wondering, despite the, the terribly unfortunate consequences of Colin Ferguson's uh, bizarre and crazed rampage, possibly some good in, in terms of legislation about the manufacture and sale of these kind of weapons, some good may come out of the the sadness of this, uh, this entire affair? Well, basically, that's been my goal since the beginning. Um, I certainly worked on the assault weapons bill last year, and I'm fighting right now to make sure it stays in place. But Mrs. Brady certainly had a tough battle. Yes, she did. And um, I certainly have a great deal of respect for her, and Jim Brady is just an absolutely wonderful man. But out of the tragedy of the Long Island Railroad, I wanted to make sure some good did come out of it. Too many good people died, my husband included. Too many people were injured, like my son. So I really do believe, and I do believe that the manufacturers have an opportunity here to actually cut down on where their products are going, which is basically, again, to the criminals and to the people like Colin Ferguson. I, I have a commercial waiting, but before I go, what, what are you asking from the manufacturer? What, what is your lawsuit asking? Basically, I'm asking for accountability from them, um, the way they advertise. Again, I can't stress that much. You know, I can't tell you how important that is. Right. They have an opportunity to control where these bullets and guns are going, more so than I think any kind of legislation. I really do believe that. Any monetary damages? Uh, there's an awful lot of monetary damages. Uh, how much it is, to be honest with you, I'm not really concerned about that. I understand. Back with Carolyn McCarthy, and as time permits, you on the toll-free exchange right after these messages.